Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is fifth video for multi-vendor e-commerce website in Django with React.js. In our previous video, we have seen that uh, we have implemented vendor API with login permission, right? And we have seen that how we can uh, uh, how we can uh, restrict the API according to the permission, right? And we have also seen that how we can fetch the related data with the depth with the you know depth property in rest framework now in this video uh, we are going to create a api for products right we will create the uh, list api as well as the detail api right and we will also see that how we can add the add data update data and delete data okay so let's create the product api all right so first of all let's go to the application uh, this is project let's go to main app and let's go let's open the serializer model urls views uh, and admin that's it okay so we have first of all let's add this let's add this model start product right so product here we have right so we have here product and product is category independent actually we will add the category okay but uh, this is okay let's add here the category first category it's not independent actually it's dependent on the category foreign key field right and this is product category right and then on delete model dot i'll say model dot set null i don't want to delete data right so set null and null equal to true okay all right this is the issue okay so this is the category and uh, who is adding the product right so we will say vendor equal to right here we have so this this will for vendor and we will also set null set null means if we delete the vendor data then its related data become null right it will not delete but here we have defined the cascade it means if we delete the user then the vendor will be deleted right so here we have a product category product vendor all right we will see that uh, later we will see that how we can manage product category uh, because i'm thinking we, we i'm thinking that should we manage this product category from admin level or seller level because if we manage from the seller level then it will you know very become mess data because every seller defines maybe they define the same category or something so that we will see that how we will manage this okay so let's make migration because we have changing we have changed something in the models manage.py make migrations all right migrate all right then and uh, manage.py run server okay so we have implemented two things one we have added the product is that yes and second we have implement we have uh, attached the category and the vendor in the product right so let's open the admin panel and see so you can see that right so product category vendor and we have other things okay so let's add the let's add the category here what is that okay let's add the category in the model sorry in the admin let's say product category all right so refresh this page okay so this is because we have uh, 
all right so here we will add let's say uh, python uh, here this is python scripts category okay vendor is test user title is uh, let's say python website uh, let's say python timer script i just want to uh, let you know that uh, we are going to create an e-commerce but uh, this is a e-commerce like theme first we will uh, seller can sell their scripts right sell their uh, designs sell their scripts only related to uh, website okay so python timer script timer price is let's say 200 and save this so here we are okay so it is returning the name all right now we need to create so we have settled everything in the model in the admin now let's create api okay so what should we do first of all we'll go to the serializer okay and then i'll copy this because we need the depth and we need all the things so what we will say here product list right and the model category not uh, product right and here product list serializer meta depth one all right now we need to we need to fetch we need to show what things we want to fetch here title detail and price so title detail price okay all right so now let's go to the view so don't need this permission class because we have already implemented i'll copy this paste here let's say product list and this is product and serializer will be product serializer all right and now let's it's time to show the products so this is products and this will be a product list all right now let's go to products so here you can see that category id is showing category all data is showing because of depth uh, vendor is showing detail is showing and price is also showing because we have added the float field so that it is showing the price okay so everything is uh, fine all right now let's create the detail right so i'll copy this one paste here let's say product singular name create the serializer for detail all right so let's copy this paste here detail serializer for fields fields will be same url url is uh, product detail okay views first of all we need to create view so copy this paste here product detail query set will be same it will automatically create so list create apv retrieve update apv okay so this is product detail serializer sorry product detail serializer let's go to serializer and product detail serializer okay if you know if you acquire the knowledge of uh, something then it will be easy to implement right so this is product and if i go to slash one then it will show the product one is showing the uh, product detail serializer url is oh this should be product detail all right so now it is showing the data so we can delete we can uh, update 
right and uh, we can implement anything that we want okay so we have created the api for uh, products right and we have created the api for the vendor so in the next video right so this is enough for uh, the product api because currently we are doing the you know basic things later we will do you know gradually we will do the we will implement all the things when we connect with the front end and all the things okay so i hope you are understanding everything okay because if uh, because if you are starting then it's a uh, it's a simple logic start with the easy process so that you will understand you will uh, grab the things quickly and then you can uh, you know improve your uh, way and improve your thinking okay so now in the next video we will talk about we will talk about how we can uh, you know uh, we can implement how vendor will register how vendor will log in we will implement those things okay uh, with the api okay hopefully we will do this with the jwt uh, we will use the jwt okay this is a, a json web token library so we will use that and with that with the token we will use the authentication for the vendor okay so that vendor can log in and add their products and uh, we will create other uh, other models right so thank you so much for watching this video please stay tuned with the code artisan lab and please subscribe this channel okay and please join this uh, channel membership so i can provide you the source code of any project that you want and uh, uh, this is my website projectsplaza.com so here you can download the uh, uh, download django projects django scripts and uh, laravel projects coding editor projects i mean the php javascript and python related projects okay so it's a big support for me if you are purchasing something from here okay and uh, you can also become a vendor uh, become vendor on this website so you can also sell your product so thank you so much for watching this video please stay tuned with the code artisan lab and uh, add your comments if you have any so we can improve together okay so thank you so much